Greetings from Los Banos, Laguna, to Mindanao State University General Santos, especially you students of GEC 108. I am Lichelle Carlos from CIRCA, the Southeast Asian Regional Center for Graduate Study and Research in Agriculture. In the 11 countries of the ASEAN region, we enable and champion whatever it takes to attain Agriculture 4.0, a modernized world transformed by innovative technologies, processes, and dynamics. This year, we are launching our new program, the Emerging Innovation for Growth, powered by the CIRCA Innovates model of open collaboration to attain Agri 4.0. And that's the big jam happening on 14th of October, 2020. Visit us on CIRCA Facebook Live to be in the know and join the voices of Attain Agri 4.0. So, let's talk about Science, Technology, and Society, or SDS. There is one word for SDS. It's called innovation. Only science and technology that solve a societal challenge and cure a human pain have the right to be called innovation. And a powerful tool for innovation is called design thinking to solve problems in this uncertain and complex world of ours. The first step in design thinking is empathy. Did you know that empathy is also integrated throughout all the steps of design thinking? Empathy is our ability to walk in the boots of the solution seeker. In short, the heart of design thinking is knowing the heart of our customer for whom you are designing a solution. How? To become an innovator and successful contributor to our society, you must keep humming. Your first hum is H-U-M-I-L-I-T-Y. Humility to accept that your seemingly brilliantly designed solution is an inferior answer without the input of the solution seekers, the community of users. It is a common temptation to jump right away into solutions without making a full understanding of those who are affected by a problem. So be humble enough to understand and define the problem, not from your own, but from your customer's perspective. At Circa, our mission is to elevate the quality of life of farmers and farming families, to be wise about our resources and minimize solution flops. We avoid developing intervention in isolation from the voice of farmers. It means literally putting on our boots, immersing in farmers' fields, and listening deeply to the voice of the customers. One to three years from now, many of you will start looking for employment. The other braver souls will venture into entrepreneurship. I know someone who took both paths and decided later to apply for a job interview. She had great academic records, a stellar interview presentation, and a unique skill set that came with her unique employment plus entrepreneurship background she felt to be the perfect solution. A week later, the hiring organization disagreed with the letter. Dear Miss Carlos, okay, I admit it was me. Although we find your professional profile overall suitable, we regret that it does not fully align with our specific requirements for this job. Ouch. From the perspective of this organization, as the customer, I was apparently the perfect solution for someone else. I knew exactly what went wrong. I did not have the access to better understanding the pain point that my customer was trying to solve. So during the interview, I most likely blurted out great ideas, but apparently irrelevant. 
to their situation. Many of us fall into this trap of problem solving, treating it as a venue of talent, expression, and ideation without regard for those who actually need the solution. To avoid a similar mistake in problem solving for society, design thinking puts much emphasis on understanding the human context. As a designer of solutions, be humble enough to seek your community user's perspective at every point of the design thinking cycle. To innovate, keep humming with humility. Your second hub is H-U-M-I-N-D, U-Mind Collaboration. U-Mind is human plus mind. U-Mind Collaboration means embracing the truth that not one individual, organization, or entity has the complete answer to a problem. Interdisciplinary challenges require equally interdisciplinary minds and teams to create interdisciplinary ideas and solutions that are bigger, better, and smarter. Another example on human collaboration is how the people in the education sector responded with solution after solution to the pandemic challenge in facilitation of your online learning experience. Your teachers, administrators, IT specialists, and researchers took the time to survey your situation and understand your unstable internet connections, your online gadgetry, and your data limitations. Thanks to Humind collaboration, the solution of flexible learning modality was created. With flexible learning, did you notice that you have less live sessions, synchronicity, and bandwidth consuming references like videos, for example? Even this video that you are watching had to be cut short in your consideration. With flexible learning, even students with zero interconnectivity can be part of the learning process. Only human collaboration made it possible to view the challenge from all angles and therefore create a solution that would also cover you in all angles. Your module on design thinking allows you to participate in a real-world problem solving how exciting! Many people like to complain about problems. Few people like to do anything about problems not their own. But you have the opportunity to be part of the solution. So, remember that design thinking is a powerful solver's tool that you can use even in personal life situations and relationship challenges. Let's put all those brilliant minds together and solve a challenge in society with design thinking through humility and humane collaboration, humming for transformational innovation. For together, we can attain bigger, better, and smarter innovations.